Hello everyone, welcome back to Fulgrim Gaming's so Let's Play a Final Fantasy VII. We're starting episode 38 right off with a cutscene. Everyone, listen to me. I'm Cloud, ex-soldier, born in Ibelheim. I came to settle up with Sephiroth. I heard that before. I came here by my own free will, or so I thought. However, to tell the truth, I'm afraid of myself. There's a part of me that I don't understand. The part that made me give the black material to Sephiroth. If you hadn't stopped me, Ares might have been... There's something inside of me, a person who is not really me. That's why I should quit this journey. Before I do something terrible. But I'm going. He destroyed my hometown five years ago, killed Ares, and is now trying to destroy the planet. I'll never forgive Sephiroth. I, I must go on. I have a favor to ask of you. Will you all come with me? To save me from doing something terrible. I guess so. I don't know how Ares tried to save the planet from the meteor. And I guess now we'll never know. But... We still have a chance. We must get that black materia back before Sephiroth uses it. Let's go. All right, I think that's going to do it for disc one here. Man, uh, can you believe that? That went like in, what, 30 episodes? Yeah, I think Yeah, I think I said this was episode 38, so just about 40, but I thought it was going to be yeah. like 40 a disc. And then, I mean, episode or disc one is what, maybe a little more than half of the game, I would say. It's been awesome. Like, we're booking it through. It's ridiculous. Yep, and like I said, here we get a nice little please insert disc two screen, and we get it Dang, in Japanese that's my favorite too. <laughs> wallpaper right there, the cloud wallpaper. That is beast. the cover of the game, right? Yeah, except the cover of the game is all white, but oh, I yeah. like that better. All right, so I'm going to, you know, edit out all the screen changing and disc changing and all that, so I'll see you guys back right when we boot up disc two, which will be in just now. And here we are on disc two. Not much different from disc one, really. Yeah, we're going to start it off with dialogue again. Dang. Which way did that creep Sephiroth go? Ugh. Is that Sephiroth over there? Let's go get Apparently, him. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, no, no, he's no. heading... It's a, uh... <laughs> I, don't even like, I, I was just gonna say that hologram. You all right? Hmm. Sephiroth said to me, "Head north, past the snowfields." You know, it kind of sounds like he was telling, like he's saying that Sephiroth told him to do that. But in the flat, in the scene where Eris died, which I don't want to talk about really because I might, uh, <laughs> might, you might sniff a little bit. But <laughs> he didn't specifically say, "Cloud." Go north. Like he was just saying. He was like getting towards it before we told him to shut up. Yeah, right? pretty much. And then uh, Cloud cut him off. So I'm not really sure how he knows exactly. Whatever. I don't know. But anyway, we got a Viper Halberd. Is that what they called it? Yeah, I think this is a Sid weapon. Yep. Which, which we got double materia growth. Well, I'm nice. not actually. Yeah, it's good, but I might as well just leave the Dragoon Lance because I'm not really into yeah. uh, materia growth at this point. And but. I don't want our attack to drop. Dang. All right, so now that we've got that thing over there, we can actually come up here and just kind of hop our way up. Dang, it's a pretty awesome animation, actually. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know how Cloud could do that Oops. without falling. Yeah, seriously, but, but I don't even know, like, once we get up there, I know we got to go to the left up there and go in that little cave. I always get confused in this piece, like, and I always hate, too, how if you backtrack just a little bit, he has to go through the whole animation up and down. Maybe we can come over here? <laughs> yeah, you have, no, no, you have to go up and out the shell and around the outside, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. You rem do you remember? No, but this looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, this, yeah, now you're on the outside and you go down. This makes no sense. <laughs> I know, the perspective is beast. There we All right, it. see, there you go. All right, that was completely unnecessarily Yeah, yeah annoying, real, but, but now that we're in here... Hey, it's a scary-looking area. What's this, like a Gaia Cliffs? Is that what they are? I'm not... Is this called the Gaia Cliffs or not? Like, I don't know. I know they mentioned something of, or that's something coming up. I can check the little thing. Apparently, this is Coral Valley Cave here. Oh, uh, dang. Well, Gaia Cliffs are coming up. That's a bent ladder over there, by the way. Yeah, we're going to have to go over to there. Climb that. Yeah, we're going to have to go over there in a minute. I'm not sure exactly how to get all of the, like, items in this area. I think there are four or five, but I'm not sure. I'm going to try and go for as many as possible, obviously, but... Bolt arm limb. I'm guessing that absorbs lightning attacks, then, and, or half some yeah, or something. Yeah, actually, I think it does the same thing as the Aurora armlet, but for lightning. So, where would that be? That'd be here. There you it go. Drains it, which yeah, I'm pretty sure it. someone commented and said that what that does. If it's is, draining, you should gain yeah, HP. Yeah, you gain from HP it. from it. Which I would, I kind of consider that like absorbing it, but whatever. All right. Yeah, like, whatever. It just they seems do drain like, this game. Yeah, all right. Mega elixir, which is. Hey, right, those are treasure. Oops, I don't want to go back what? over there. 
Every time I see any All Mega Elixirs right. or anything like that, I always remember when we got screwed out of the X Potion in the Battle Square. That was that, so ridiculous. I don't even want to think about that. Honestly. Yeah, that really pissed me off. I mean, we do have the ribbon now, which will make it easier to do the battle arena or whatever to get yeah, Omni Slash. Yeah, it prevents all those uh, status ailments, right? Yeah, the only thing, I don't think it protects from instant death, but I'm not sure how many people use instant death in the battle arena because that would be even yeah. more cheap. I remember we were like, this guy used instant death, and we were wondering if it was going to carry over to the next round. Remember that? I'm happy it didn't. Wait. Oh, yeah. The death yeah, sentence attack? That? Yeah, I remember he used that yeah. on us. All right, so let's see. I, I think there's another materia somewhere here, but I'm not sure where it's at. So I'm pretty sure we can probably come back here if. Yeah, you just got to go through the uh, city of the ancients. Yeah, through the right. backup. So if we miss something, which we probably did, I will come back here and get it later. I'm, I think there was yeah. a power source we missed here, and there was something else, but power some big yeah, wolf. No, power it seems like there was another materia I missed, which could have been helpful, but and we'll come back for it. It's not that bad. But yeah, like I said, I felt like there was a material, but maybe not. Well, maybe this is All what right, I was talking about. It. I'm gonna laugh. Okay, there's the power source. Oh, uh, there's the power source, yeah. But I... Cool little transitional cave here, dang. Yeah, oh well. I I thought there was another magic, or not magic, uh, source, but another material here. But like I said, I'll come back later. Back for it. Dang, I like that. I always like these areas in the games, like the snow levels and stuff. I, I don't know, I always like them. I have uh, been ruined with snow places because of the... Uh, Call of Duty series, how... Oh, my, don't bring up the booty I series. <laughs> I would never in a million years compare the booty series to this game, or any other no, game I know what you're merit. saying, though. But why does every snowy map in the Call of Duty series just have to blow so hard? Derail, what's the Array, other one called? Uh, Outpost. Out like, yeah, Outpost. God. They suck, dang. Alright, but anyway, I don't want to talk about Call of Duty, because this is a good game here, so we're gonna go yeah, in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is the, actually the Icicle Inn, isn't it? Is the whole place called the Icicle Inn? Yeah, it is. Why? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know, because there's only one inn in this whole Icicle Inn. It's right up there to the right. Yeah, but I think, can we get the uh, snowboard at this point of the game yet? Yeah, I don't know. You can talk to the kid. No, dude. I don't think we... I, I think we have to go to I think to you have to get the map. First. Yeah, we have to get the glacier map, which I'm not sure which building it is, it's in, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah, I think it's in one of Actually, the bars. Actually, it's right here. <laughs> it might be here. Yeah, it's right oh, there. never mind. Thanks. Uh, we can look at it, there, but it. I'm not going to look at it right now because we can look at it later. But if we come in here... That map, by the way, is bull. It does yeah, not it does help at all. But so. we have to get it, so... But there's a hero sources. drink and a vaccine here. Oh, dang, I thought they were sources. Hero drinks are awesome, by the way. Really, really rare items. Yeah, well, I want to show you guys a glitch later on in the game. The, what do you call it? The, the W the, item glitch. A W item glitch. Uh, there, I think there is. I'm not sure where it is, but there's an X potion somewhere around here. I can't remember if it's in this building or not. Is it outside, dang. I think it's in one of the buildings. Like, oh well, whatever. I'll come back later. Yeah, there might. They might be in another building. You never know. Yeah, it probably is. I don't imagine they would throw a hero drink, a vaccine, and an X potion all in and one an X potion. That house would be the most ramsacked house in the whole neighborhood. <laughs> Thank God. All right. Is there anything of importance in here? Some of these places we don't really need to go into, but this is the actual icicle inn. Dang, there's the bar I was talking about. Oh, down here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything in there. I guess it's worth a shot. Well, we can worth a shot. <laughs> oh, get it. <laughs> that was funny. My God. All right. Oh. What's going on Dang. down here? Is there gonna be a- Can we even talk to them? I didn't even, like, bring up and talk to anybody. They just kinda, like, yelled at me. What the f- Aw, uh, they are drunk, probably, so. Well, I don't think there's anything- I thought there was Turks down here, but maybe I'm getting that mixed up with... the- Hey, I don't blame you, because every bar we go to, there's Turks. There was Turks in the bar in Juno, there was Turks in the bar in, uh, Wu-Tai. I'm so Wouldn't make a difference yeah. here, dang. Alright, so we're not gonna heal, or we're not gonna sleep at the inn, because you know what happens. Yeah, freaking character's gonna go missing, and there's some character. Well, they're not here physically, but there's some characters coming up that we're gonna have to, uh, that are pretty important. Yeah, I'm not sure which one of these houses actually would make sense for this, I guess, to be. There's a weapon shop somewhere over here. I think Dang, this might be it. Well, is they, are the weapons here actually decent? <laughs> actually, I think there's a weapon here for Cloud called Organics. Yep, so look at that. Dang. It's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, Dragon Claw, we're not. Well, might as well, we're so rich now. good for Sid, maybe. Sid, yeah. All right, we're Sid. Sid, I think Sid needs something a little better. Oh, hey, dang! The Dragoon Lance is better. God. I'm surprised. Come on, he deserves a better weapon. Whatever. We're not going to buy the Lariat. It's called Sniper CR. Yeah, the Sniper CR, I'm pretty sure at this point in the game, is still stronger than yeah, where we can get good. it from them. All right, so we're going to put the Organics. That's kind of an awesome That's name. That's a beast name. Yeah, I was just going to say that. All right, I think we're going to leave everything else pretty much the same. We didn't get anything for Vincent or Sid, so whatever. 
Yeah, we'll try another weapon shop later on. Those weapons in there weren't worth it. All right, so now that we've done that, I think there's going to be a really long cutscene in here. Yeah, it's going to be another one, another one of those cutscenes that just dominates the episode, but it is important. Yep, and down here there's a turbo ether. And you guys are noticing that this house is suspiciously vacant, oh, don't you notice? Yeah, why? first of all, why is there so much machinery in here? I don't know, Day. We should maybe tamper with yeah, it. Yeah, let's uh, try and... Oh, what word? There we go. I was going to say... <laughs> What the? F oh, play. There we go. I was trying to look for this. Why did that eye or I window open? All right. Well, let's go so down the I list, guess we have to get on the list. Original Crisis. Crisis Core. Oh God. I will Dang, be cast. It's off. Oh, you can be a <laughs> the other woman. Yeah, here. Wait, who did it fall on you the first time? I don't even remember. I don't remember either. But it doesn't look like, look like Ares. I mean, we know that's her mother I at this know, point. I Yeah. Camera's ready. Then a fall now. Please tell us about the Cetra. Two thousand years ago, our ancestors, the Cetra, heard the cries of the planet. The first ones to discover the planet's wound were the Cetra at the, at the Knoll's Pole. <laughs> Knoll's Pole. <laughs> tell us, a fall now. Where is the land called Knoll's Pole? Knoll's Pole refers to this area. The Cetra then began a planet reading. A fall now. What exactly does planet? <laughs> <laughs> Planet oh, reading and tail. I can't read today. No, my voice cracked. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I can't explain it very well, but it's like having a conversation with the planet. It said something fell from the sky, making a large wound. Probably referring voice to the cracked. Meeting, by the way. Thousands of Cetra pulled together, trying to heal the planet. But due to the severity of the wound, it was only able to heal itself over many years. Do the ancients, rather the Cetra, have special powers to heal the planet? No, it's not that kind of power. The life force of all living things on this planet becomes the energy. The Cetra tried desperately to cultivate the land so as not to dim diminish the needed energy. Hmm. Even here, so close to the North Cave, the snow never melts. Is that because the planet's energy is gathered here to heal its injury? Yes, the energy that was needed to heal the planet withered away, the land, then the planet. The planet tried to persuade the Cetra to leave the Knoll's Pole, but... If hey, Fauna, let's take a break. I guess you got emotional there. I'm all right. When the Cetra were preparing to part with the land they loved, that's when it appeared. It looked like our, our dead mothers and our dead brothers showing us specters of their past. Who is this person that appeared at the North Cave? I haven't any idea. That's when the one who injured the planet, or the crisis from the sky, as we call him, came. He first approached as a friend, deceived them, and finally gave them the virus. The Cetra were attacked by the virus and went mad, transforming into monsters. Then, just as he had at the Knoll's Pole, he approached other Cetra clans, infecting them with the virus. You don't look well. Let's call it a day. Was she talking about the Genova virus, by the way? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's talking about Genova. They call Genova the Calamity from the Skies, and there you go. I didn't know Genova was a him, though. Oh, oh. That makes yeah. Sense. I always imagined Genova as a, a woman. Actually, not that I always I mean, imagined. Alien, I know but... Genova's an it. But, yeah, well, I yeah. Mean, I, I get. I I figure. I never mind. All right. I always imagined him as. <laughs> I always associated Genova with like Sephiroth's mother, even though that's not technically yeah, true. Yeah, me too. You know, but I don't know. But I never would think of it as a male. No, that's why I never. That never crossed that's my mind. All right. It's, yeah. So let's learn about the weapons that we have in store here. All right. Another flashback with <laughs> Fauna and... I just Oka. love the different color filters. They're awesome. They I guess they got like a vintage look. Yeah. If Fauna, can you comment on the thing called Weapon? Yes, Professor. She has some wide hair. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the, the one the Professor mistook for a Cetra was named Genova. That is the Crisis from the Sky. The planet knew it had to destroy the Crisis from the Sky. You see, as long as Genova exists, the planet will never be able to fully heal itself. Back then, weapon was a weapon the planet produced of its own will? That was redundant. Yes, but there is no record of weapon ever being used. A small number of the surviving Cetras defeated Genova and confined it. The planet produced weapon, but it was no longer necessary to use it. So, weapon no longer exists on this planet? Weapon cannot vanish. It remains asleep somewhere on the planet. Even though Genova's confined, it, sh it, should co it could come back to life at some time. The planet has not fully healed itself yet. It is still watching Genova. Where is Weapon? I don't know. I can't hear the voice of the planet as well. Times have changed. The planet is probably watching the situation closely. 
she does get emotional over these scenes. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Thank you, Afana. That will be all for today. Best parts of that whole scene. Weapon is a weapon. Weapon and is a weapon produced hair. by the Weapon Planet. We- my yeah. God. <laughs> she has wide She has hair. wide. It looks like a wedge. That was awesome. Right? But- it looks like a friggin' blanket or cape yeah. draped over her. It's ridiculous. All right, so we have one more thing to watch here. Confidential. And have we even heard about the weapons? This is the first time we've heard about it? Apparently, this is the first time. Yeah, I don't really remember hearing about it. Oh, oh we, we got two. two videos. All right, so let's uh, hear about the daughter's record. The 10 days after whose birth could this be? Yeah, I know, right? What are you trying to do? Profe- I mean, honey. Oh, I'm thinking of taping it on video, but the video's not working right. What are you going to tape? Is there still something I haven't mentioned? No, that's not it. I'm going to record my beautiful daughter. Aw. And when she's sleeping, her face looks like an angel. going to tear up. <laughs> First, we have to figure out her name. We can take the video later. That might have been you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've already decided. If it's a girl, then it'll be Eris. That's that. You are so selfish. But Eris is a good name. <laughs> it's a good name, considering it came into that forgetful head of yours. Oh, right. Oh, the videotape. We were just guessing yeah, who's, who's right there. It My worked, God. all right, it worked. Yeah, we got through it. Let's see, the second record was 20 They're days after They're trying to tug at the heartstrings, all right? Yeah, I Seriously. know. They put it right after such a scene. Yeah, we got oh, a visual got video here. Thing. The wide hair, hair is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> video again? You just got through taping. Please don't say it that way. It's our lovely Who daughter, both yours and my <laughs> Don't you want to capture her child on videotape? Childhood? Yeah, I know. If you keep doting on her like that, she won't grow up to be strong. Eris is different from the other children. I wonder what, ha- what dangers await her. Never say that. I will protect you and Eris no matter what. You and Eris are my only treasures. I'll never let you go. I feel so much better now, darling. If I hadn't met you, I... Oh, emotional again. Yep, again. Well, she did oh, just have a baby. baby. That was like the horror wide hug. Yeah, no. Who could that... I was just about to... Damn! Wait, what's happening? It sounded like someone knocked on, knocked on the door. How dare they intrude on our private time together? I'll send them away. Yes, at once. Who the devil... Okay. We should talk. Well, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I, apparently somebody's trying to break in their house. And they, it, it's them! I think I know who this is going to be. Yeah, same here. <laughs> I've been searching for you, Fauna. Or should I say Cetra? Long time no see, Professor Gast. Hojo, how did you know? Believe me, I had to turn over a stone or two to find you. Two years I waited. That's how much I wanted this new sample. <laughs> new sample? You don't mean Ares. He got a... Harris, what a nice name. <laughs> That's it. I'm severing all ties with the Shinra. Hojo, please leave. She getting on her. Please, Harris has nothing to do with it. All you want is me, right? I'll need all of you for my experiment. You understand, don't you, Professor Gas? We can change the future of the planet. Don't worry, Fauna. I'll take care of this. Please don't put up a fight. I don't want any harm to come to my precious sample. He's so... Hmm, what a funny-looking camera. Guard, destroy it. If he, if he shoots the camera, I swear. Oh, okay. There. Be careful with her. <laughs> what are you doing, Professor? If I want to take Eris and run, I guess I'm just going to be everybody. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't... I wish they... Ah, darling! Oh, and uh, don't forget the child. Yeah, of course. Hmm, a video. The ancient's weapon? <laughs> a mountain of treasure. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> oh, I don't know what was going on in that scene. I feel like it should be more obvious. Like, they should have put, like, I wish that they would give names. Yeah, for real. I mean, if they're on the screen and you can see them moving and stuff, and you can kind of piece it together who's talking, but when it's like that, you have no idea who's no, talking. No, because the, you would think sometimes, because, like, if it's a lower text box, it's mine. If yeah, it's higher, it's it, yours. Just, Those are just all random, over yeah. the freaking... But if we try and go back here... No, don't! It's a steep downgrade past here. Oh, that's right, we gotta get the board, don't we? It's dangerous. Please don't go. I'm still going, are you kidding me? Yeah. Damn, I was just being nice. What the? Who are those people over there? It looks like trouble. What the? F- I think this is going to be the Turks. Oh, she gets right uh, in the camera. Oh, you can this. tell who that is There already. they are, hurry. Yes, ma'am. That's for, They, like, popped in and out of the crate. I know, my God. Dang, they move quick. 
Cloud, Huff, Waze, I won't let you two go any further. He's just gonna shrug off. It's his standard. What's down there? It's a secret. It really doesn't <laughs> matter. But you're gonna go. You really got guts doing my boss in like that. You mean boss saying? That wasn't us. Sephiroth did it. No. Don't you think you can fool me, the liar? I'm not lying. It was Sephiroth. Don't try to act innocent. I'll never forget it. Oh, man. Did she have a crush on him, or was that- I think so. Looks like talking alone won't cut it. You're gonna have to feel some pain. Just you and me. No, I can handle him. There's no way he can avoid my punch. What? Yeah. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what, yeah. Dodge the punch? I don't remember this at all. Uh, dodge oh, oh, it. Oh! <laughs> Dick! This this is, see, things like this would make that game hilarious, I'm telling you. She's like you. rolling down the hill. She <laughs> completely became a perfect ball and is rolled. <laughs> what the? I just don't know who's talking. I'm sure we're weak for Shinra's. Alright, we want to go after them, but we can't do that until we get the snowboard, which I think was in this yeah. middle house here. Pretty sure it was in here. It's, got, it's on the little kid's bed. Which he just gives it to us. He doesn't even care. Look, we can come right over here and talk to him. Oh, is he gonna hand it over that yep. easily? I got hurt on my new snowboard, and now I can't go out for a while. Hey, I'll give you to give you my snowboard. If I can't All believe right. how easy that was, he didn't hold yeah. it for like G uh, Gil. He didn't ask for items. Nope, he scraped his knee once and handed it over. My God, <laughs> that's pretty dang awesome right there. All right, but in this next area, it's gonna be pretty ridiculous. So I actually think we need yeah. to end the episode here. And I want to thank you guys for watching episode 38, the first episode on the new disc. And I want to see you guys back for the next episode. See you next time, guys.